All right, so here's the uh, the trusses in place. Now, this is a loft arrangement here, but obviously it's kind of a stand-up loft. And what I've got are these blocks that I prefabricated at the uh, over in Portland for this project. Uh, that's construction adhesive. We've got the 15 degree angle cut on those in order to make the sheathing nail down a little bit easier. Um, and I may screw that down. It depends. We've, I've got screws. I've got a good, thick, substantial area that I'm dealing with. The um, the one foot riser here is basically what gives me headroom in here. Uh, one of the original plans was to not use that riser, and I my calculations were that I would end up with the amount of headroom you would get, like let's say in a van, and I, I wanted a little more than that here. And uh, the way the building codes are out here in the middle of nowhere, this counts as rural building. Uh, there's no there's no bathroom, so we're we're able to. Uh, have a bit of leeway as far as as far as loft height goes um, and then also in order to save headroom this floor is supported by two by fours but we've got to go with a lot closer spacing now because of the spacing I had to leave for windows downstairs we're a little wider here and some of those two by fours end up being four units wide uh, down below by the time I get the window frame in so a lot of these are doubled up uh, those are the corners that I pre-made, and of course that's all uh, screwed, nailed, glued. Um, so there's, there's a lot of reinforcement on the very corner. There's a point where it ends up being three units wide. Uh, so supporting the floor has worked out pretty well. Uh, I'm going to window frame this section and this section, and then put another 2 by 4 runner across because this is still... Uh, plenty secure, but it feels a little soft. And with these floors screwed down, I'll have a good idea of what I'm dealing with as far as firmness goes uh, before before we we put any pergo on or something like that. I, again, if you look at my older videos on off-grid construction, retreat construction, we've, we've got to go with stuff that's low maintenance. Uh, so carpet's a no-go. Uh, up here, getting back on subject. 